Hello, I'm Ragnarok, and welcome to The Reckoning. So today we're going to be taking a look at Gemstones, an Age of Calamitous mod where Conan exiles the game, finally. So we have, uh, in the past, we've made videos part one, part two. Part one went over the Age of Calamitous plants and herbs, uh, things like Aurora Herb, uh, Widow's Leaf, uh, uh, Caluthia, or however you say that. Um, part two went over Ores and Metals, so Cobalt, Onyx, uh, Tin... Uh, what else? Uh, Eviari, uh, stuff like that. Um, those videos are still relevant. Uh, slight change to the ore and metal video is you can't use pickaxes anymore, which is actually going to be relevant to this video also. Um, pickaxes used to be one of the best ways to get Age of Calamitous mats. Uh, now pickaxes have been changed into a builder's tool. Um, so pickaxes are, are going to be strictly used for getting vanilla mats. You're going to use pickaxes on stone, on wood, on black ice nodes. It doesn't really matter. You're going to get a lot more vanilla mats than you would, say, using a pick or an axe. Uh, but they will not give you Age of Calamitous mats. Uh, at least that's how they're designed. I think there may be a couple things where sometimes they'll give you, like, a couple of the mats. But it's nowhere near enough to actually be feasible. Now, if you use a pick or an axe or a, knife, a skinning knife or a cleaver or a scythe, uh, you will see Age of Calamitous mats. Uh, and you'll, you'll see the vanilla mats be lessened. So, to get gems, you, at least for the next couple of ones where we show nodes, uh, you're going to want to use a pick. Only a pick will do it. Uh, you won't be able to use an axe, or uh, I know back in the day you could use, you could kind of cheese it and use a scythe on a node, and you would only get Age of Calamitous mats. One of the nice little tricks is probably one of the reasons it got changed. Uh, so now you have to use a pick, plain and simple. So, we're going to go over some of the locations. We're not going to go over all the locations. Um, I'm just going to go over some of the um, common locations. I'll mention s some of the ones that have a multiples where um, it's very similar. Uh, we'll so show a couple of the places on the map. We're not going to show everything because a lot of the places we're going to visit today are places that we visited and showed where their locations were on the map in other videos that are centered around that type of resource. Um, so, I'll just let you know at those points uh, what videos to go check out on that. But... Let's take a look at it. We're going to go over all six of the gems. So, rubies, topazes, sapphires, emeralds, amethysts, and diamonds. Diamonds were probably one of the most requested thing in the YouTube video. Okay, so the first one we're going to go through is crystals. Uh, crystals are a vanilla resource. Plenty of maps out there that you can uh, get to show you where the uh, crystals are. There's a bunch of different caves throughout the map. Uh, like I said, you can just look it up where to get crystal in uh, Conan Exiles. Plenty of them. Um, you know, I'll just show you a couple on the map. I'm not going to show you all of them, though. I'll circle just a handful, um, maybe like two or three, whatever. Um, I have no clue what I'm circling yet because I haven't done it yet. But anyways, I'll circle a couple on there, but definitely there's a lot more than what I'm probably showing. So make sure you look that up. Now, crystal, like I said, crystals are vanilla resource. Crystals will give you the four basic gems. So there's six gems total. There's one like super elite. I don't really know the classification of them, but one's like super elite, which is diamond. Um, one's like high tier premium, whatever, which is your amethyst. And then you have your base. So your emeralds, rubies, topaz, and sapphire. Those are your four base ones that you get. They're basically your commons, I guess. I guess, I guess common, uncommon, and, uh, rares probably would have been a little better, but whatever. Anyways, these are crystals. As you can see, we're getting vanilla crystals with them and we're getting a, an assortment of gems. Now, the one thing to note is, is, uh, different crystal caves have different color gems or crystals. I mean, um, it, that does not reflect what you're going to get. So if you come here to this one, just because the gems or the uh, crystals are green does not you're gonna mean you're going to get a lot more emeralds. It's just pure color. Like, it's that's all it is for the, the sake of, uh, like, decoration for these caves and stuff like that. So as you can see, we got, you know, 800 crystal. What's that? 37 emeralds, 41 rubies, 20 sapphires, and 88 topaz. So we actually got more topaz than anything. Um, and more ruby than emeralds. So just because it was green doesn't mean we're going to get a lot of emeralds. Um, <clears throat> the way these work is uncuts uh, in the gem crafting bench convert into shards. Uh, it's six uncuts uh, create one shard. And then one shard, or sorry, four shards create one actually whole gem. So, and we'll take a look at some of the other ones as we go through. Let's take a look at another place. Okay, so the next one is going to be your star metal nodes. So star metal nodes are another place, common resource you're going to get in the game. Um, or, well, that you're going to have to get later in the game. So uh, they don't give a lot of gems, but they do give some. So let's take a look. 
at what we get from the star metal node. Like I said, not a massive resource, but it is it is one that, like I said, you're gonna get a, a, do some star metal hunting at some point. So we get one uncut amethyst for the star metal node. I think that's a pretty common rate, actually, one uh, uncut amethyst on at least a one-time server per node. Um, and then we get sapphire. So am one amethyst, but mostly sapphire. So great place for sapphire if you want that. I mean, not great place, but it's good enough. Okay, so your next one is going to be obsidian nodes. Uh, again, not an amazing resource, but something you will probably mine at some point in the game a decent amount. So let's take a quick look. And as you can see, we got some gems right there. And the gem we got is Sapphire. So Sapphire is a very common one you're probably going to get a lot of. Uh, but Obsidian Nodes will give you some Sapphire. And these are Obsidian Nodes are strictly in the Volcano area. Okay, so one of the next nodes we're going to go over are is um, Copper Nodes. Copper Nodes are one of the Age of Climate specific nodes that drop in the unnamed city. Uh, we'll go through a couple of those. Uh, Copper Nodes, very low drop rate. Let's see if we can actually get one to drop. Maybe not. Um, but they drop... Copper, or not sorry, not obviously copper. There it is. Uh, so occasionally you can get some ruby from your copper nodes. So there you go. Okay, so the next one you have are the EVRE nodes, um, at, which is the one I'm hitting right now. Um, as you can see, again, unnamed city, and they will drop topaz. Not a lot, but again, another resource for topaz while you're getting yourself some gold in EVRE ore. Okay, so as you can see, uh, we're hitting the uh, cobalt nodes right there. Let me see if I can find one more real quick. But uh, basically, mm, no. So uh, cobalt nodes are also from the unnamed city, and they give you obviously cobalt ore, but they also give you sapphire. Okay, so the next resource we're gonna take a look at is uh, thralls, basically. So when you go thralls, how am I gonna get gems from thralls? Well, you're not the only one that wants gems. So we are at the Stormhold regular camp. And the one thing you're going to learn, and if you watch the, we actually made a video on Age of Calamitous camps, where are they and all that stuff. Um, it's a more recent video. Definitely check that one out. It shows the location of all six uh, factions, legendary and regular camps. So 12 camps in all, uh, including the Warfront. So uh, what we learned in that video is that each faction is tied to a specific gem, which is kind of cool. So Stormhold is tied to Sapphires. So they don't all drop it, but it is in their loot pool. And it is common most of the time. I mean, there's obviously, we went through, what, five five total. We only saw it on one. Um, but there's times where you'll get a drop on every single one. I've, ha I've I get a lot of Sapphires here. And the cool thing is that each of the factions drop shards. They don't drop the uncut ones. So remember, uh, six uncuts make one shard. Uh, and then four shards make a hole. So essentially... These two shards right here are the equivalent of 12 uncut sapphires. So it's a decent amount per kill. And I mean, these are these are just regular Stormhold soldiers and stuff like that. Like I said, I, I'll come in here sometimes and more than 75% of them will have. And I mean, there's a lot more in this camp than this. I just killed four or five of them. Um, so you can actually get a good, good amount through them. So we're just going to run through. I'm not going to show the location of all the camps because we have a video for that. Check that one out. Um, but let's uh, we'll run through all of them, showing you which factions have which resources okay so the next camp is going to be the felgarth camp we are actually at the felgarth legendary so we're just going to kill these guys real quick oh, going away i'll just do a couple of them because we don't know which ones are going to drop there we go and this one uh felgarth drop topaz so that's four shards there's another four shards right there so this is an example of um you're actually getting a good amount from them and it's a loot pool so it's not in three there so let's see four four three um, that would be 11. So 11 shards, which is actually pretty good because like I said, four shards make a hole. Um, so you almost have three whole topazes right there. Um, or you have the equivalent of 66 uncut. So, I mean, that's not too bad from the Felgarth. Uh, the one thing to make note is that also, um, the Elvenor faction also shares the gem, uh, uh the specific gem with the Felgarth. So you will we'll get to, uh, Topaz from either Felgarth or Elvenor. Okay, so the next camp we're going to look at, or the next faction we're going to look at, are the Elves. The Elvenor Covenant. Or the, not the Elvenor Covenant. The Elven Covenant. Um, so Elves are really good. And I'm in Cloaked mode, that's why they're not attacking. So we're just going to kill a couple of these. We're going to leave the boss alone for now. And as so as you can see, we're actually in the Elven uh, Legendary Camp. And Elves drop emeralds so take a look there's two there's two 
And there's another two, and then I think there's one more right here, right? Yep. And two. So as another instance right here where they dropped. Uh, all a majority did it, and like I said, sometimes you'll go through here and one will drop, as you saw with the Stormhole camp. Sometimes you go through here and a bunch will drop. So it really just really depends. But uh, elves are really good. There's three different, three or four different locations in the map. Actually, there's four, four different locations in the map where elves are. Like I said, check out those videos um, for those locations. Okay, so the next camp where we are is in the Van Gool camp. This is their regular camp. Again, we're just gonna kill a bunch of them, and we're gonna cheese it because you guys aren't here to watch me try to kill these things without dying. Although I'm in God mode, so what's the, what would make a difference, right? But the Van Gool drop rubies. They are known for rubies. That, they actually drop a good amount of brimstone, too. Not that you really will need a lot of brimstone by the time you're fighting them, but I just see a good amount of ruby shards right there. Um, the wolves, I can't remember if they... I don't think they drop any gems. I really honestly can't remember, but I'm pretty sure they don't. Because I would have it annotated if they did. And here we are at the Cold Embrace Legendary Camp. Now, the Cold Embrace are unique out of all the factions, and the reason they are unique, let's see if I can just get the drop off these two, is because they drop Amethyst Shards. Now, Amethysts are one of the more uncommon gems. Uh, there's not a lot of places to get Amethysts, uh, just like Diamonds. They're not as rare as Diamonds, um, but they don't. there's not a lot of places to get them. So, uh, the, the fact that Cold Embrace Camp, or the Cold Embrace are linked to the Amethyst Shards is actually pretty cool. Um, they're also one of the... They have one of the largest uh, legendary camps, shy of the Warfront, obviously. Um, but one of the largest, while not too bad end game to or mid to end game uh, to get through. So, and there's a lot of good, especially the Elven or uh, the, the Cold Embrace legendary camp. Um, there's a lot of good thralls that will spawn in here. So this is a really good place to farm once you get high enough to actually survive the like 15 thralls that spawn here, uh, plus the uh, the Cold the Cold Embrace wolves and stuff like that, the Frost Hounds. So, um, Amethyst, great place to get them, and this is a pretty decent camp centrally located in the map, so not too bad. Okay, we're going to show some of the creatures now that uh, give some things. So, these are the Reapers. I just spawned a couple of them in, but they naturally are in the Unnamed City and actually in this area. I just didn't want to have to, like, run around for the sake of the video. So, um, just be careful when you kill them. They do give off the Elric and Plague. I'm in God mode, so it does not really matter. But as you can see, I'm getting my nice little 10 stacks that would basically kill me instantly. And, of course, none of them dropped it. Let's get a couple more. Okay, so let's take a look. There we go. So from the Scourge Reapers, like I said, be careful with that plague. Guys, obviously get it. Uh, we got an Amethyst. Um, there's some Rubies. Uh, another Amethyst and some uh, Emeralds. So they will occasionally drop an amethyst or two. Um, I see probably emeralds most commonly on them, um, but they will drop some of the other gems also. So just uh, the reapers, they're not too bad to kill. Uh, just be careful of the plague. Okay, so one of the next ones is the cub. I have not again, I spawned a bunch in. They naturally are in this area that I'm in right now. Um, I'll just show you in the map real quick. But they're all over the brown area and in the snow. Um, I should probably kill these guys before they get too far. But these are the cubs. These aren't the full-fledged uh, mama and papa bears. Uh, or boss bears or anything like that. But what you can see is Amethyst, Ruby. And there's your Uncut Diamond, Ruby. Another Uncut Diamond. And what did this one drop over here? So I actually tend to... I actually, in the current game I'm playing, I actually have a base in this area. So I get to farm... Oh, here you go. This one dropped three Uncuts uh, Diamonds. So, I mean, right there is you have at least... Uh, I think we we're one uncut away from actually I believe diamonds are actually only four uncut diamonds for a full a full fledged diamond There is no diamond shard. It goes straight to the full diamond uh, Don't hold me to that number again, but either way we have probably at least the whole diamond right here between these bears We just killed now granted I spawned four of them in but um, and you, you again another decent place for amethyst um, and a Random rubies are pretty common. I think it actually can do all of them but I actually have a base in this area on actually my server. Um, and I usually get two or three bear spawns in this area. You'll get a bunch over here just because the big boss bear is over here. Um, you'll see them all up here because there's another bo uh, like mini boss bear over here. Um, and then up and down this river, you'll see them a lot. Uh, I think there's usually like three or four here. And then you'll see some more here because there's another mini boss in this region. 
So pretty much this whole area, I actually have a friend that builds on right over here by God's Claw a little bit, and he'll occasionally get one or two bears that venture up there. So, I mean, literally this whole region is bears. You can just run around it and kill them. The cubs actually are really not that bad uh, to fight. They just take a little while if you're going to throw with you and tank them. But you do that every couple, you know, every day or something. You walk out your door or, you know, of your base or whatever, run around a little bit. You can walk away with, you know, a diamond today. So it's not, it's a really, really good way to get diamonds. Okay, so another way, another way to get your gems is Zanaris right here. I think that's how you say it. So it's a little Reaper looking dude. They're a real big pain in the butt to kill. But the cool thing is, is they will drop random gems too. And you get some, uh, sometimes you get the Epic Harvest loot. Let's take a seat. Nope, didn't drop anything there. That was worthwhile. Um, I did actually spawn a couple in and kill them over here just for giggles. Um, but that one was actually one of the natural spawns. Uh, let's see. Uh, so we got two uncut diamonds from this one. Epic Harvest loot, I believe, does not have, no, it doesn't. Uh, let's see. Another uncut diamond there. Couple rubies and amethyst, or not rubies, sapphires and amethysts, and a bunch of sapphires. So as you can see, uh, the a lot of the AOC creatures, as well as bosses and mini bosses, especially, are going to give you a lot of these gems. Um, this is the new location of Zanaris, and again, we have a video. Uh, I think one of our most recent, uh, the October twenty fifth or twenty first patch notes, actually had uh, moved the location of them. This is the big scourge spider. So this is another Age of Calamitous. This is creepy as heck. We're just going to kill it. But as you can see, mainly because it's a, an actual boss, you're you're almost always going to get, not, not always, but almost always going to get um, a diamond or amethyst, usually uncut diamonds, maybe even a whole diamond, from any of the a AOC bosses or mini bosses. So that is going to be your best bet for diamonds. Um, I like to do kill these guys. Uh, the bears are probably my favorite, as I showed earlier. Okay, so we're here at the Elven Legendary Camp. I'm just going to hit this guy because usually if you hit him, maybe not. There it is. Usually you hit him, the tiger comes running. So the reason I want to do that is... So these are both bosses and mini bosses for the Elven uh, Legendary Camp. And as you can see, we got a full diamond from this one. So let's see if we get anything cool from this. Oh, there we go. We got some amethyst from those chests. So you definitely want to check all those chests. And a lot of things drop those chests. Um, and then let's see what we got from this guy. And another full diamond. And then there's a legendary chest again. And we got some more amethyst. So amethyst, diamonds. I don't believe... Yeah, I was going to say, you don't... Couldn't remember if you actually get from scanning. Okay, so one of the last ways I'll... I'll probably uh show in this video again is an, another age of calamitous boss so this is actually the big bear the uh scourge of scargoth i think it was called, uh, renamed to if I remember right it's been uh, like a week since i did that video so i can't keep all this stuff in my head but anyways you kill this and look at this we got some rubies we got some amethyst we got a bunch of uncut un uncut diamonds an amethyst shard and then a legendary hoof uh which again gave us 19 Amethyst, so we got 22 Amethyst and Amethyst Shard. So you got some good stuff from that. So just an example is that one of the best ways to get, especially Amethyst and Diamonds, um, whether they're uncut, uh, shards, full, whatever, is going to be your your Age of Calamus creatures. Now, granted, a lot of these creatures can't be killed and can only be killed end game, but um, some of them can be killed pretty early. Like I said, the Cubs, really, really good way. You can be you can probably kill them around, like, um, I think I start messing with them around 50 uh, once I get like hardened steel and stuff like that, um, you could do it a little sooner probably if you had like a, a couple guys. I wouldn't go for the big, the big boss bear, the big man himself. Um, but you, the Cubs, you could definitely do, especially if you have a good thrall with you too. Uh, but any of the other bosses, the uh, the wraith, uh, Gaithin, and the uh, the wraith in the cave in the uh, snow area, um, Gaithin in the um, the volcano, um, his brother, whose name always eludes me in the unnamed city in the war front. Um, any of the other bosses, the Rhine, the Scourge Rhino or the Corrupted Rhino, the um, the Crocodile, all that stuff. They're all going to drop Age of Calamitous things. And, and they usually have a very good job chance to drop either a lot of Amethyst or Diamond, Uncut or Full um, or a combination of that along with other gems. So that's going to be your best bet.
Now, there are a couple ways that aren't don't include killing um, or mining nodes to actually get the gem or the diamonds in the amethyst, and I'll show that real. Okay, so one of the ways to get them without actually killing anything is the what is this legendary legendary right? Yes, legendary resource mine. Um, so this is the tier three mine that you can craft. Uh, this one auto generates uh, resources. Uh, such as now this is the legendary one so this is the most expensive one the craft um, but this one generates everything so it generates ruby sapphire it generates all the four, the four basic or common um, gems so sapphire topaz ruby emeralds uh, as long, along with like onyx and um, silver gold stone stuff like that uh, but the cool thing is, is if you also go into it you can see these things you can actually craft onyx Diamonds and amethyst. Now they cost a, a gold coins. This is not the vanilla gold coins, and this is not if you have like a pippy mod. It's not the pippy gold coins. This is age of calamitous gold coins. So when you kill thralls and you skin them, they actually drop it on the on in the loot tables. Also, uh, you will get like usually ten coins. Um, you convert. There is a banker you can make a craft that will convert the tin into copper, or yes, tin into copper, copper into silver, co uh, silver into gold. Um, so gold coins are pretty hard to come by. They're not super. If you've been on a server for a while, you'll probably have some gold coins. But anyways, pop them in the resource mine. Obviously, you're never going to have this many. These are all spawned. But we'll craft one of those, and we'll craft one of those. So we'll craft one of each, and we'll see what we get. So for one gold coin in the Tier 3 Legendary Resource Mine, we will get four diamonds. So for one gold, you get four diamonds. Let's see how many amethyst, how much amethyst we get, and these are full on diamonds. And we're waiting. Thirty full amethyst. So there you go. So that's one way you can do it without actually. Well, I guess technically you have to kill to get the ten coins. So I can't say you can do it without killing, but that is a way. I, and then, like I said, um, we'll probably maybe I'll come back return to this one at the end of the video. Um, I actually just spawned this in, so it hasn't had a chance to actually, uh, generate anything, but I'll, if we can visit it by the end of the video, um, I'll show you some of the stuff it generates. If not, it does generate all four of the, uh, gems. A little time, little time go past, not too much time, but a little bit of time. And here's the resource mine. And there you go. So this is showing what it generates. Uh, I took out the diamonds and all the other stuff. So. Um, but anyway, your gems, it doesn't matter. These are the four gems. It, it, like I said, it won't spawn these, uh, amethysts or diamonds because you can buy them there, but you can get the other gems. The, the resource mine is pretty decent. It's not going to give you a lot. You can't just solely rely on one of these mines and you're not going to build like 19 of these mines because they are very expensive to craft, but, um, it does give you a good amount where you'll, you know, it, it can help. Uh, it, it's free resources. Once you craft it, well, it's not really free, but once you craft this, I mean, you're, it's just auto generated over time. So you can go away for a week, come back and this will be full of stuff. Um, so, you know, I mean, maybe not that long once a day, whatever, once every couple days, but either way it's free for the most part, other than what a craft actually uh, costs to craft this thing. But either other than that, it's a good resource. Okay. And the last place to get them, at least the last that we'll mention in this video is the plague meteors now the plague meteors only spawn in one location and that's going to be the unnamed city so we'll show right here on the map this is where i am right now but they will spawn over in this area typically um they're very similar to the meteors for the star metal nodes uh the timer on them is a lot less though so they will definitely take longer to spawn uh than the um nodes Okay, so the nodes themselves, I'm going to go over to it right here. This is what the Plague Meteor looks like. Um, you can't get through it if you actually use your pick on it. Nothing. It just, it's exactly like the Star Metal. They have the little smoke coming from them. So what you need to do is you need to do it just like the Star Metal. Throw explosives out of it, at it. Break the shell. Once you do that, make sure you use a Krenixian pick. Um, I believe Krenixian picks are the only ones that you do it. But... If we take a quick look, you get, in this instance, we got uncut emeralds. Now, let's try the next one real quick. Okay, so we're going to try this node right here. And again, emeralds. 
so Plague Meteors will give you diamonds occasionally. Uh, it's one of the only nodes that will actually give you diamonds. However, uh, it is a very low drop rate. So I was hoping I could get it in one of those two nodes. They are very similar to Star Metal. As you can see, there's another node right over there. I guess we can try that one out real quick. Okay, so that was a look at the Age of Calamitous uh, gems. Uh, hopefully, it helps you out in finding the most requested one is diamonds. Uh, so we went over a good amount of diamonds. Like I said, pretty much any Age of Calamitous creature, uh, usually, especially the bosses and mini bosses, are gonna be your best bet to get a lot of them. Um, that is probably the most common question I get a lot. We didn't go over all the boss locations. We actually will have an AOC boss uh, video coming out in the future at some point. Um, I'm working on that one. It's just a lot of information, so it's not a, a quick one to get done. Um, but uh, I will link a map in the description below. It's the official map from the Age of Calamitous mod, and that will show, a, if you go to the little contents and put a check in the box, you can actually show all the bosses and mini bosses, and those would be Age of Calamitous bosses and mini bosses. So they, they, th that map will strictly show you Age of Calamitous stuff. It will also show you the faction camps to help you find the specific gems for, that I showed for those camps. Um, and the Boston mini bosses, like I said, are the easiest way to get some of the end game, uh, rarest mats for the Age of Clamus mod, especially in, in regards to gems, the amethyst and the diamonds, especially. So, uh, check that out. Uh, the content guide also is always linked in the description below. That's a really great resource for finding anything Age of Calamitous, whether it's, uh, you know, who, where's this weapon? What faction has this? What's this do? What's the boat boost for this? Whatever. Check that out. It's in the description below. Uh, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. It helps me out immensely. Um, also, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can get notified when the next video comes out since we do release them so sporadically. Uh, you guys are amazing, and I, I it's an incredible amount of support with the amount of views we're getting on these videos lately, more than I thought was ever possible. Uh, the funny trend is I am seeing a lot of uh, a, a high amount of views and a high amount of the people that view them are returning for more every video after that. But a very high percentage, I think it's like over 70% of the people that return for almost every the last like five videos in a row are not subscribed. Uh, remember to subscribe. It does help out the channel actually a lot more than you could probably imagine. Um, and also give you, it'll give you a nice quick notification when I do post a video so you can have it immediate, you know, right away without having to be notified through anything else or search for yourself. So uh, definitely do that. Also, if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, make sure to leave them in the comment section. I do go through them. Um, it's not on a daily basis, but I do go through the comments uh, and I do respond to as many as I can. Uh, it's, it's becoming a lot more, so it's getting a lot harder, but I still go through them. So, because I am curious to see what you guys like and what kind, what I'm not being clear on and stuff like that. So, also, I want to give a, a special thank you to our Patreon crew for the support and helping me do what I am able to do, uh, put out these videos um, as often as I can and in the fashion I can. And if you want to be part of our elite Patreon crew, crew feel free to check out the link in the description below also uh, a couple other ways is we to support uh we do stream on twitch at twitch.tv slash ragnarok live and we have an amazing discord channel with a lot a lot of people it's in, grown immensely fast um and uh links for both of those are also in the description below and uh, i just want to say thank you for everybody like i said uh we're actually broaching at the time of uh making this video we're actually just shy of a thousand subs uh, so that's an insane mile marker for the channel. So I just want to say thank you all and uh, just keep up the support. And I'll keep putting out as many videos as I can, as fast as I can. So uh, with good quality. So thank you so much. And you guys have a great one. I'll see you on the next one. And as always, fear the reckoning.